guys, welcome to Kirby's Epic Yarn. I'm the Clean LP Guy, and in this episode, we are going to the Big Bean Vine. I don't even know if I said who I was in the last episode, did I? I don't remember. Anyways, um, as you can see, there's a little arrow that fell there. Whoa, you jerky! Um, you can kill two dudes there with a little, uh, with a little, uh, help in prodding from something that I like to call, um, Steve. Anyways, um, if you grab one of these... It'll turn into a little sharp object, and then you can, uh, stab little dudes, um, which is actually relatively mean. Uh, but anyways, it gets him out of your hair, and like that, he just totally lost his bow. Now he's totally defenseless, and I can just grab his face. And yeah, it's pretty fun. Um, grabbing other people's faces, I mean. Um, no, I, I'm, I'm serious, it's fun grabbing other people's faces. Just, um, anyways, you want this guy so you can get over here and jump up to this, um, thing here. Uh, I want to watch out, though, because he shoots arrows. Um, get out of my way. And then you want to do that. And you want to grab him. And there we go. And then we're going to come over here, and boom. Whoa. Whoa, I can't believe we fell that far. Anyways, we're going to grab you so we can get rid of uh, Mr. Um, Cupid over here. And, and let's boom. There we go. Boom, shakada, kada, boom. Uh, if anybody has not seen, uh, Muppets, uh, Treasure Island, it was a pretty fun movie. Um, anyways, I believe that, well, we all, there's always going to be, um, three, ah, got it, sweet. There's always going to be three treasures. Whoa, whoa, whoa I didn't want you there. Oh, right. All right. You want to try not to hit a whole lot of people. Uh, whoa. There we go, we got that. Uh, okay, you know, I'm just gonna wait for this Waddle Dee. And, oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'm gonna get you. Ha ha ha. Little Waddle Dee, I want your placement now. Alright, uh, their balloons deflate slowly while you stand on them, so you wanna watch out for that. Um, there's a part where that gets really complicated. Wow. Whoa, gosh. I almost fell and dieted there. Ooh, I almost dieted there. I believe that's actually homing, um, that little bee there. If I remember correctly, he's homing. Um, I believe... Nope. Oh, over there is a, uh, little, uh, grouch monster. That if you... Oh, dang it. How did I not grab that? Anyways, I do not care about the little tiny beads. They don't usually affect it too much. Anyways, this is one of those little doors where you just want to jump behind and get stuff with things. Um, if you go to both sides, you'll see that... There's a whole bunch of beads on both sides. So, as you can see, we can already get gold. Um, basically, now what you want to do is you don't want to get hit by very many bad guys and other things. I believe all we have is... I missed a cloud pillow. I believe the cloud pillow is actually up above. If I remember correctly. If I missed it, I'm going to go back for it. Because um, I'm pretty sure I missed it. Um, anyways, let's see here. Uh, let's go over here. Um, oh, gosh. I deflected his laser vision. Oh, whoa. Uh, anyways. I believe I missed the cloud pillow, guys. So I'm gonna have to go back for that. Anyways. Uh, yeah, I'm kinda concerned I missed the cloud pillow. Because I think I did. Uh, did I miss the cloud pillow? Whoa. Not what I wanted, really. Uh, let's come up here. Whoa, there's a... Oh, here's the cloud pillow! There we go. I knew I didn't quite miss it. I mean, I thought I did. But then I was like, I was looking around, cause... All right, get out of my way. Little puffy pillow man. Nope. And fall down under this guy. Um, I'm gonna make my way over here, because there is a... And come on. There we go. And here we go. We're gonna grab this little star here. And there we go. Alright. Let's see if I can time the thing again. And... There we go. I think I got it. I'm not entirely sure, but I think I did. I'm pretty sure I got it. Am I, did I get it? Oh my gosh, I did not get it. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Anyways, I was pretty sure I got it, and I didn't. Anyways, there we go. We got all the treasures, and I was... That's another one that I'm kind of concerned about, getting all the treasures. The last one I was concerned about getting 100%. This one I'm concerned about getting all the treasures. Because as you can see, sometimes they mix up the way they give you the treasures. So it's kind of complicated. But anyways, there we go. We got all three treasures. 
all three treasures. And if you were wondering, um, we got the water can patch. If you were wondering, I would like to introduce you to my brothers. Come back and see me. Uh, anyways, if you were wondering, um, if when we used up, or when we used those, uh, one to treasures in uh, Zeke's room if we don't have any. They're actually unlimited as far as I can tell. Um, you don't have to go back and get any more. But as far as I can tell, they're unlimited. Anyways, this is the last door in this world as far as we can see. Well, actually, I don't know if you guys can see. But if you look over here, there's one door here. And then there's evidently something up there that is sleeping. And we don't know what the heck it could be. And then, I think, if you come up here, go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. Thank you. Um, I thought if at the top of this there was something up here, but I guess not. Oh, bouncy clouds! Anyways, um, you can't run into that dude. Anyways, there is a Fangor. What is a Fangor? Ooh, he looks vicious. He looks ferocious. Ferocious beast! Anyways, like I said, I will be trying to 100% um, the game itself. So, Well, not the game itself, because I don't know how I'll do for the uh, uh, one things. But anyways, I'll be trying to 100% the levels themselves. So, like, the big main levels. Uh, the extra things I probably won't be trying to do as much. Um, I'll probably try and buy everything. I might do extra videos later of, uh, of me um, doing stuff to things. And grab his little tongue here and smack his face. Anyways, there we go. We grab all the beads here. And if you just go back and forth, you can kind of... Oh, there we go. We can kind of guess where he's going to go with that. And then he's always going to be on the, uh, what is that, right side of the screen. It's kind of like out on platform. You pretty much always go to the um, right, from left to right. He's always going to be on the um, right side of the screen. Anyways, so what you want to do here is you want to... You want to smack him with his fireballs. And then he's gonna, I believe... Whoa, he should shoot his tongue like that. And then shoot it twice! And... Yes. And then you just want to grab his tongue again. And you want to grab all of the beads that you can possibly grab. Um, I think this time I'm actually gonna stand here if there's nothing else that happens. Um, yeah. And then he'll come up here. Whoa! That was close. Anyways, um... As you can see, there's a little something after the gold, and I'm going to be trying to get that in every single boss fight. If I don't get it, I'll have to go back and get it. Um, basically, all you have to do is get as much uh, treasure as you possibly can uh, with each boss fight. Um, basically, yeah, I just want to get as much treasure as you possibly can with each boss fight. And then, uh... Whoa, jeez, that was really close there. Anyways, and then you should do one more. Whoa, jeez! And then you just want to grab his tongue. And then you've got all the treasure you need. And then you've got this little epic yawn. This little yawn. And, and did you know in the 40s they used to call like newspaper stories yarn for some reason? I don't exactly know why. If anybody does know why, I really don't want to look that up. I don't know why. Anyways, but if anybody knows, um, tell me. Because it's kind of weird. I thought it was weird that they were like... Because I was reading a Superman comic. And they were saying that uh, if only you had this kind of yarn. Anyways, we got Fangor music and... Excuse me, we got a mole patch. Who wants a mole patch? I know there's people that like soul patches. Who wants a mole patch? We did it. We got the magic yarn. The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. The yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patch land together. Grumble, grumble. Kirby's tummy was growling, so he went searching for food. Too bad there aren't any tomatoes up here, he thought. Suddenly, the tree started rocking back and forth. Kirby thought it was an earthquake until he saw Prince Fluff shaking the tree. This is how we get food in patch land. Kirby tried to hang on for as long as he could, which wasn't very long at all. Look at all that, Fluff cried. Kirby was so angry that he ran after Fluff. He chased him for so darn long that he forgot all about being hungry. 
He's yarn. How the heck can he be hungry? I would like to introduce you to my brothers. Come back and see me. All right, we'll actually be going to his brothers before we move on to whatever that is. And as you can see, we opened up Hotland. Yes, uh, we have a little patch that will appear above our heads after the save screen. There we go. We've got this little mole patch. And I I just, like, fell during the throw. And we've got this little mole that starts doing stuff to things under the ground. And as you can see, there is another door there. And you guys are probably like, how oh, did you know there was another door there? Well, well, I, I've actually... Well, you, you guys are probably not asking that. I don't know if you are. Anyways, um, uh, something I should say now is that if you press A at any point in time, you can see all of the places where there are question marks and all the places that you need to go to and get gold or you need to get treasure or anything like that. So um, if you see me looking at that at any point in time, I will be uh, doing that. Uh, there's also something else that I will be showing really soon that is actually very nice. Um, here we go. There's my pad and there's Zeke. I like how it says Kirby's pad. That's awesome. Anyways, you... Here's Don Wool's brothers. Well, it seems my brothers have decided to set up their shops here. Right now to one another. Right next to one another, excuse me. Hmm, well, I suppose that makes things convenient. Hello there, I'm Chase Wool. If you need furniture, come say old Chase. I'm Loomis Wool. I have the best fabric store in Patchland. Only one, too. And visit me whenever you need something. So, anyways, um... We have fabric shop and furniture shop. Basically, I'll just show you these off really fast here. Um, yes, I have some time. Uh, basically, welcome. Nice, thank you. Um, I like to buy as many fabrics as possible, so I'm just going to uh, trade. Uh, and then I'm just going to get them. Basically, all these different fabrics, um, you can get as many fabrics as you possibly uh, have in your well, store for cash-wise, I guess. Um, and then uh, it's all out, so then you're going to leave the shop, yes. And then... Um, and then if you go over to Mr. Furniture here, you will see that he's got a bunch of uh, things here. You can uh, get a rug. You can get a sewing machine. Uh, basically, I think buying it... I don't know about buying it all, but um, really, there's not really a short of, shortage of beads if you're getting gold on every single one. Um, TV stands... Sorry, we're out. So we're out of all of this here. But basically, if you buy up these guys... Um, Basically, there's no shortages of stuff. But anyways, pressing that button will give you this umbrella. Somehow the umbrella comes back uh, if you leave. Anyways, uh, something I want to show you is that if you press minus, you can hop between lands. Which you can actually see now with hot land and grassland. But we're going to go back to grassland. Uh, and I think we're probably going to end it off here. Only because in the next episode, we will be going to Molehole. So, I will see you guys when we'll be going to Molehole. See you guys then.